right bun, oh, uh, six five minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or one KO to decide, brings together in the blue corner, Pat Roach of Birmingham. <laughs> Opposed by one of the greatest favorites in our wrestling ring, Mike Marino. Well, what a build-up in that ring. It's exaggerated one bit. When you introduce Mike Marino, whether it's me here at the commentary table or whether it's the MC in the ring, there's simply not enough one can say about this man's skill, technique, expertise, and experience. Here he is looking so small on the left there, and his back to us against the giant 19 stone 12 Pat Roach of Birmingham. Six foot four of a Mike Marino a mere 5'11". Mike Marino's got trouble here going up to the heavyweight class to take up this boy. But the next six rounds will tell. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout. Any doubt about identification here? Marino with his usual black trunks. He'll need all his skill here against this tremendous man of five stone almost to the pound heavier than he is pat roach at 19 stone 12 marino at a mere 14 13 in the mid heavyweight bracket in fact he's the mid heavyweight champion but he so often goes up a weight as today and he just could have taken on a little much this time ken lazenby the referee a lot of people believe that Pat Roach is a deliver some foul moves and a rule bender generally. But I've never really believed that he does this intentionally, as people say. Let's see who's right this afternoon. So they're booing him already, and it, it never seems to understand why he gets the boos. to a man of 19 stone 12 you have got timing <laughs> and it was tremendous and the way Roach took that whip on his arm as he often does underneath the back hammer the wrist it and he brought off the gap in there Roach Just to see the figure in the lock, very difficult to see from ringside as well. I think it's just a single figure, right now a double wrist lever. Double handed wrist lever to Roach. And Marino up even from that on his toes. seldom breaks the rules in any way shape or form unless his opponent really gets him angry and started Marino doesn't have to then he'll have to even in the side head chancery against Roach Crowd at 
correct approach as always. He looks around completely amazed that they're always screaming at him, but I must admit I'm with him a certain amount. I don't often see him foul, not on television. Though. He may do in the halls up and down the country occasionally, but uh, seldom on television does he bring off a really bad foul. You see, he's trying to release now, but he can't get away with the referee standing by. I'm trying to get away when you told me to run, he said. He gets the blame, or thinks he gets the blame for everything because of his colossal height and weight. Ten seconds to go. That's one time he should have released. Yes, that's the one time that Roach should have released when the bell went. He heard it perfectly well, so he gets a public warning on that. Uh, a public warning to Roach for not breaking at the bell. Marino, as usual, pretty calm. Not worried by this. Although, who wouldn't be worrying about facing a guy of this height and strength against him? I think he's just relying on his tremendous expertise. Let's see if it comes off in the next five rounds. Second round. Round two, five to go. Two falls to decide this. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout. And no score so far, but one public warning against the big man on the right, Pat Roach of Birmingham. With the light tracks there. This colossal bearded giant. Yeah, see, the crowd may not like that, but it's a perfectly legitimate forearm up attack to the ring. Again, perfectly legal. Marino wisely staying out of the way of that one. Oh, yes. Nice height. Now that height. And the follow up with a strangle. And feet through, Marino's feet through the ropes, so the break is being ordered. And, and Roach won't break when he's told to. That's the second time. Now Marino's got mad. It's a pity. I spoiled what could be a great bout here. Really be a big, terrific wrestling contest, this. Despite the difference in weights. Marino surely can't possibly stand that. It's a double interlock with Roach the advantage at the moment. Roach trying to get a leisurely pinfall on his way with this one, but uh, no chance of that. Keeps the single finger in the lock, though. Almost suplexed his arm, suplexed his man. There it is, letting the lock. Come on, trying to weaken that Marino left arm. Finding it not much use, so. Even allows him up there. Again, that suplex. Arm suplex to Roach. Again, tries to weaken the left shoulder. And with that 19 stone 12 on your left shoulder, I think it's liable to get weaker. Bear hug with the back in a position. Doesn't want the bear hug, though. And that arm right in the back in a position as he landed in that corner first. Two minutes to go, round two. Now, will he break this time when told? Yes. 
He can't step back because his own left leg is taut. It's Marino holding it in a great way. The crowd blaming Roach again for that, but it's not his fault on this occasion. Now Marino's released him, he can step back. Bearded man from Birmingham, one of the lighter trunks. And a weight advantage of just one pound under five stone. And that's a heck of a lot for Marino with all his skill to deal with. Then the call for break by the referee. And Marino gets a little angry from that finger jab into the canvas, and you can't blame him. 30 seconds to go, round two. seconds and he's got the double arm of Marino now that could be tricky but he's only got three seconds to operate it in he won't have time again Roach taking his time to break there he is Pat Roach well, incidentally, as uh, you'll be able to see him in the uh, cinema pretty soon, his Adventures of Barry Ryan, the, the Stanley Kubrick picture, and he plays the part of Tool. Uh, the star of the picture is Ryan O'Neill, so I'd be interested to see that, and I expect you will soon, too. Take it away, round three. Round three, four to go. No score, but one public warning against Roach in the light trucks. It's him delivering that forearm. Marino falling into it the third time he couldn't quite make it. And Marino's really got a job on here today. We're so used to Mike Marino giving away weight. And a second public warning for continuing that forearm smash when his man in the corner after the call for a break. A second public warning to Rose for refusing to break. So that's the third time he's refused to break when told to, and the second public warning for it. Still can't quite understand. He looks at the crowd who are screaming at him and booing. Was trying to persuade them he didn't do really anything drastically wrong. But obviously referee Lazenby is pretty hard on the break. But oh yes, a neat posting there by uh, Marino. And that won't please Pat Roach one bit. Now, Marino, can he come in now and do some damage while he's got his man weakened? And Roach. So clear off. And as he comes tearing over the top rope into our table. But Roach is okay, even if we're not. And see if Marino can deliver another forearm uppercut that gets that far as, as that one did. Well, I've never moved out of the way so fast as I did then. I've, I've had fellows come over on my table before, but never of nearly 20 stones. 
Well, that really is a pretty fearsome forearm smash that he's giving Marino now. And he's changed for Mike's a while ago. But although two public warnings against them, still no score. into a side head chance right? he's made it but he can't throw his man for it balancing well and I don't think Mike Marino can get him over from there he might off the ropes but better check of course Roach has got to win those Marino will never come off best against this man One minute to go, round three. Still no sign of any pinfall score or submission. <laughs> Reach for that side hit chance three again, perfectly legally. And it, oh, that's a tough one when Roach lays it on. The figure four head scissors. Exactly the position of his calf around Mike Marino's throat. A lot depends on that. Half a minute. I think that Roach could get a sleeper out of this pretty easily. Marino's uh, throat's clear. In fact, he might even try to get out of it. He's got 12 seconds. No, he can't quite get out of it, but at least he's avoided the throat trouble. At the end of round three. Marino's still lying there, being hugged back by his second, but he doesn't want to know. In fact, he can't get him off the deck. I hope that doesn't mean it's the end of this. So it doesn't mean it's the end of this. He's just plain angry. He wants to continue in the interval. Roach sending him away, but Marino, for once, not wanting to go back to his corner, wants to continue the bar. Round four, three to go. Still no score in this 2-4 contest. Two public warnings against Pat Roach on the right there, the giant bearded wrestler from Birmingham in the right shoes. And can Marino, five stone lighter, come back in this box? That's the sort of forearm uppercut he's going to walk into from this giant. No good writing to me saying it's unfair, but there are not many 19 and a half stone fellows around. So he's got to fight heavyweight over 14-13. Anybody over 14-13 is automatically heavyweight, whether they're 37 stone or what. third public warning which will send him back to the dressing room. Yes, Marino walks into that one. Well, about chest high with his face there. And that's always got to happen. It's got to be a submission now. 
and a perfectly legitimate submission in 1.38 seconds of a round four to Pat Rush. Stretch on the neck and very often getting submission with it, even of somebody of his own weight. But of course, with somebody five stone lighter, Marino had hardly a chance when he got into that move, that position. So Roach now, there he is, leading by one submission to nil, though two public bullies against him. And any second, we start with the fifth round. Two rounds to go, and Roach coming to try and finish it off on the bell, in fact, before the bell almost. I don't think Marino's got much answer to this at the moment, but a nice miss there. Sidestep that nicely. Uh oh, he's coming mighty near on top of us. If he comes over on the top rope V again, I'm, I'm going to say goodbye. There he is, reversed over the hole. Mike Marino got a chance to equalize it. There it is. Beautifully done, Mike. Still a bit groggy, but he's got it. And Roach complaining that, that was the distance. The shoulder blades went to the canvas. Anyway, it's an equalizer to Mike Marino in the fifth round. In 26 seconds of round five, a height, a body press, and Marino gains a very welcome equalizer. There's Marino standing in the neutral corner. Hasn't even got back to his own corner yet. But he's made the equalizer with one round to go. Now it's anybody's guess who can bring this off. So the final round, six is called, and Marino is still in the neutral corner, which is very unusual indeed. The referee didn't seem to force him back. Then Roach was complaining about it. So one fall each now. One submission to Roach, one equalizing fall to Marino. Two public warnings against Roach on the left. And eventually we'll get underway this final round. Must be 25 seconds, 30 seconds gone already. Maybe near each other yet. Now again, Roach must. There's nothing stopping him getting away this time. Complaining to me now, Roach. I don't know what he thinks I can do. And Roach halfway up through the spectators and getting beaten over the head by a couple of ladies there with blonde hair. And his, the seconds very quickly around, but he's not back in time. He's not back in time. Still the fight goes on, but I think it's all over. Everybody looking for Arthur Green, the MC and promoter, to come in the ring. And announce what's happening because I don't think anybody knows the crowd's going mad everybody's going mad Marino's going mad wants to get at Roach Roach still complaining down to me here at ringside Arthur Green to the ring. Marino is your winner. so Marino's the winner on a disqualification or a timing which is it other knockouts he failed to beat the count getting back in the ring Roach uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's about it. As the crowd come round the ring, hardly wait to get to Roach. It's a win for Marino. You'll be glad to hear in round six. And with that, it's goodbye from all of us here at Sheffield. Have a good week. Till next week.